Okay, planning to uh, put these three pots into this big planter. Yeah, one, I go there, two, and three. Good. Please notice they are of different uh, sizes. Yeah, and this is a small one. So I'm trying to get these three into this big planter. So let me just show you how I do it. And uh, it's going to be very simple for you too. Now, I want to place this one right here in front. Right? So I'm going to approximately see how much of space this needs to go in. I'm not going to upset the whole uh, planter. It's just this part. So, okay. I get that marking. And I just scoop out this plant alone. Just this part. Let me just place this back and see if it goes in. Yes, it does sit perfectly fine. Maybe a little more. Yeah. So, let me get this out of the way. Okay. We're okay to go. I think I keep this here so it's close. I'm just taking off a little more so that I get a little bit more depth. Good. So this looks good. Will it go in? Yes. That's sitting in perfectly. Right? So this can stay here for now. Now I'm getting another marker for this. This one. Nice. Try not to come too close to this because it may just cave in. And be careful when you're taking out the soil. Cut it sharp so you don't have problems later. I'm just taking that out. Okay, looking good as of now. Not caving in as much as much as I thought it would. Right, let me just put this in and see if it fits. Yes, it sort of fits. I just need to go in a little deeper. So I'm going to take off some more soil. I don't want to go right to the bottom because that will give me a little bit of problems. So I'm trying to just keep to the bare minimum of the depth. Right. So this goes in here. Oh, that looks sweet. Right, so that's done. Now I'm going to do the bigger one. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm forcing a little problem here because this is too close. And it's a bigger sort of a circle. So let's see how it goes. If it caves in, it caves in and you just have to be a little bit more careful the next time. So that goes out. Okay. That looks good. Let me just try. Yes, he's going in. I'm pushing it a little, using a little bit more force so that I get that shape. 
Oh, not coming out. Okay, just twist and twist and twist. Then it comes out. That's fine. So I've got my three impressions. I know exactly that this is going to work. So that went really well. And you can see the three holes ready for the pots to go in and the plants. I'd like to share with you what uh, pot mix I've used. If you see the different layers, you see the top layer which is coco peat and then you have something black there that you can see. That's vermicompost. And I've added a layer of river sand and then the usual pot mix that you get from our nurseries. I like doing this because uh, it gives a lot of leverage for the roots to maneuver themselves through different layers. When they hit the river sand, they really grow fast because it's grainy and uh, the drainage is good. And they get whatever they need on the way from all the other layers. So let me go with the ones at the back. Now this is going to be easy because this is a sort of a plastic pot, so I can really squeeze it in. Yes. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just loosening the soil and I'm hoping it comes out like a cake. Right? Just give it a tap. Give it a tap at the edge. And yes, I can feel it. There she comes. I'm going to remove the tiles. That's what I've used at the bottom. And if you see, the roots are good. They've reached the bottom and all the manure is there. So I turn it over, pack it in a bit so that I don't lose anything on the way. And I put it in. That sits fine. Okay. There's a little bit that fell in here. Right, going with the other one, just removing the pebbles that I've put into. Okay, the same process of a little bit of a squeeze. So that loosens the soil from the sides of the pot. I'm just placing my fingers through to support the plant. Turn it over. And that's right. That's really cool. The tiles. I put tiles right at the bottom because I wouldn't want the soil to run through the holes. These roots are really healthy, so I'm going to leave them there. Turn that around. Give it a little bit of a squeeze to firm up the whole thing and this is the front of the plant so I'll turn it around and there you go and that sat really well and for the third one sometimes these small guys give you a bit of a problem yeah I'm hoping I won't have a problem okay See, this is what I expected. Okay. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Here you can clearly see the mixture of the soil, the different colors. See the bands of soil, right? Firming that up and turning him in. Right. So that looked good and that went well. I don't like using gloves, I just like to feel the soil through my fingers and you get a better grip of things. Okay, firming that up. Let's get these away. Good. So this is what this sort of a collage looks like. I have further plans. I want to just dress them up with some pebbles. So I'm going to pick up some pebbles now.
Okay, so I managed to pick these up from the garden and uh, I'm going to just place them very comfortably. I like the natural look, not that it should be placed in any particular order or anything like that. The more natural, the better. Okay, these guys. And I've got this guy. He's a gnome I picked up from, uh, I think, Bunnings in Melbourne, Australia, when I was on one of my trips. So I just thought he'll look cute there. Yes, he fits well. And he'll be more comfortable with this at the side and maybe something there. Okay. Let me look at it from the front. Ah, that looks good. It looks good. I enjoy doing this uh, video with you and uh, I'd like you to send in your comments on uh, the same DIY account. Let me know how yours went after you tried it and uh, just don't worry about uh, the caving in of the sides when you are trying to make uh, the crevice. Don't worry, if it caves in all you have to do is push it back and you've got your garden tool so you can use that. If not, just your fingers, your bare hands. So thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe. I'd like your comments as well. So I'll see you on the next video then. Thank you.